Hello, welcome to another video tutorial and today we're going to talk about the difference in between 2017 and the Premiere 2018, the latest version that uh, we came out. They totally redesigned the Essential Graphics panel as you see. This is the uh, old version, basically the first version came out in 2017. As you see, if we go to Essential Graphics, if you don't see, go to Window, make sure the Essential Graphics is selected. As you see, and the uh, old version or the first version came out with a nice um, options to create a new folder. So let's say you want to create, let's say, Nera pack, maybe, you know, and click OK. As you see, and here you have the Nera pack created as a folder, as you see down here. So we can double click, and it was a nice option to have, as I said, and separate folders if you have sport titles, if you have overlays, particle titles. It was a nice to create a folder and have in separate folders. And the way to insert in the uh, first version or old version, it's, you know, click this little icon and just select one by one. That was the uh, a little tedious, you know, to select one by one. Let's say you have more than 100 and will take, you know, a lot of time to be installed one by one. That, that was the uh, little... Mm, bad thing I should say and the old version or the first version came out of course on 2017 so let me just install another one and just show you you know so make sure as you see I cannot select multiple you know if I hold shift it doesn't allow me to select more more than one so let me just uh, open this as you see we got in here and the nearest pack if we go to the main as you see we got this folder and also it's nice to have a uh, After Effects templates, you know, as you see this uh, After Effects new package is from After Effects templates, of course. It was nice to have separate and, you know, all by uh, names, I mean by folders. So let me jump into my new version. The latest version just came out. As you see, I got the new version. So let me go. When you open it the first time, you will see this workspace. But we can go and graphics if you don't see this at the right. So you can go window, of course, and make sure the central graphics checked. And as you see, we got basically total redesigned the essential graphics. Uh, we got bros, of course, the same that we had in the first version. I mean, with essential graphics and edit. But in here, you don't see the uh, folders, how to insert, or how to create folders, and have, as I said, and separate folders. So. And here what we can do or what we have is this nice call Adobe Stack. And so you, if you click, if you are connected to the internet, you will have an option to, you know, just uh, search, you know, a uh, ton of the templates. Most of them are selling and some of them are free. You can download, of course, just create an Adobe account and just download it. And as I said, some of them must be paid and some of them are free. So you can, that's the cool thing. And also you can just go and search by the keyword or name and you can search. And if you, as you know, so if you want a free, so he will show the free if you click free. If I uncheck a premium, this is paid, of course. So let me just uncheck this. But the bad thing in here is there's not an option, uh, you know, and also, of course, there's an option to install. If I click this uh, little icon, plus icon down here, as you see, it uh, pop-ups the window and you can just uh, select one by one. Of course, it's another tedious to be selecting one by one. There is no option to select multiple, of course. So I'm going to cancel because I'm just uh, giving us a sample. So let me just cancel this. As I said, there's not an option. As you see, I can't see any other uh, option to create a folder, let's say, uh, After Effects folder or Nerds folder, you know, to have all separate. So you can just select this or just add this little star and have as a favorite. So let's say you have a hundred out as a favorite. So when you click in here, we'll show all the favorites. But let's say you have a hundred favorites. So it's the same thing like having this uh, local. As you see, let me just go and uncheck this as you see in here we got 100 mixed and it's kind of like annoying to be searching you know this if you have a long so that's the i think for my opinion it's not really good you know to have um this all mixed up in here and also there's a giving an option from local of course if you have you know, it's the same thing is showing the same uh, mixed set and also it's given an option to have libraries 
if you go and here you got two names my library my library but there is not an option also to create a new library as you see in this essential panel there is not an option to create a new library as you see we got close panel and the panel and panel settings and there's another options but there's not an option to create a library and also down here if you click it's not an option to create a, a library so basically it's, again, it's not given options uh, to have different libraries as I said so I came out and trying to find out and see how it can be easy and have different uh, libraries or folders like we had in the first version so I came out and found this if we go to let me go ahead and make sure the libraries okay this is the libraries actually right here as you see if you don't see the libraries panel you can go window and make sure the libraries are selected so if we just drag and drop into my essential graphics panel make sure it's in the center not a size as you see yeah you can see so it just uh, drag and drop and we have this libraries and here the option is nice because it gives that option to create a new library so let me just create but before we create so let me just show you how to install the all the motion templates at once you know just drag and drop if you have 20 100 you can just uh, drag and drop not just one by one so the way to create or drag or create that folder is we can go and open the finder make sure the finder is open if we go in here go go to folder and we go and type this extension which is the tilde key of course and the for slash library and close for slash and then we can click go and make sure go in here so i'm going to show you where we are so we got an user motion graphics of course the name of your computer or administrator name and then library and if we go and click application support and go adobe and then go come on and then motion graphics template and the hiding uh, folder of course and here we got the old folders that we have in the old version i mean the first version came out of course in 2017 as you see we got the after effects new package sport package it was nice to have in different folders and also the as you see slides social media titles and as i say it was really really nice but in the 2018 as you see it's not a giving this option it's not giving this option of course and that's kind of like um i don't know i'm really i don't know what to say anyway so let me go back to my um, of course my find it again as you see motion graphics so in here what we can do and it's nice i think i don't know if it's uh the right way to create this but I can I came out with this and it's nice to install at once multiple templates so we can do and here make sure the motion graph template is selected and we can go in and create a new folder and let's say free narrow pack and we can just click and we created this so make sure it's selected if we go and click or oh, hold down command and to open a new window find there so let me just go and download i already download my free of course as i said you can download of course the link on the description so let me just make sure and this is the cool thing as i said so make sure select this and select uh, just scroll down and uh, the mouse of course and then select i mean hold it on shift we can select all of them make sure to copy not just drag and drop copy in this case so let me copy this 39 items and go make sure the net is uh, selected uh, folder of course and let me just uh, command small v to paste and there we have if we close this all of them if we go to browse i shall uncheck the library and you will have the uh, of course the uh loaders or the essential or the motion templates we just added as you see so let me go ahead actually i'm not seeing so let me just make sure go and maybe refresh i guess and you will have as you see my i just drag and drop in the uh, in the folder of course all of them at once not uh, like you know selecting one by one so it takes like uh, one second just drag and drop and you will install a ton of them if you have hundreds as i said all of them as you see it's in my uh browse template anyway but the bad thing in here is as i said you can add as you can add as a favorite this one uh let me see this one this one so when you click this will show the three of those of course but as i said if you have a hundred of them 
of course it will be kind of like mm, not good to search what you're looking for or if you're looking only after effects template or you're looking for only sport uh, templates or titles so let me just uh, um, you know just check this out so the cool thing as I said when you drag the libraries and cool thing in here is you know it gives the option to create a new library and you know so just let me see Nera or let me see the way I type anyway so let's say as I think I I rename uh, free Nera pack and let me just fix this and let me just create this as you see it's empty of course we don't see anything here but the cool thing is is give an option to create the name I want so I can have separate once we create the uh, library name so we can go into my browse of course uh, and check this and as you see we can just start you know selecting this right click and copy to the name of the library as you see free let me just add this as well so free nails pack let me see another one that I can have in that folder so maybe this and just copy free nails you know and go copy to library free nails pack and that's the cool if we go into library and as you see free nails pack have those uh, templates so let's say I have only the After Effects motion template and separate uh, and separate library so the same thing we can go in here create a new and let me just type um, After Effects After Effects templates and create and it's empty of course the same thing we can go essential graphics browse and we can start you know just uh, you know copying to the library so make sure let's say I'm gonna copy this go to as you see it's nice because I will have in the separate folder so as I said after the effects template this one after the effects template this one copy to after the effects template and you know so we can go one more if I want also with the default comes with Premiere so you can just add into the uh, undecided library as I said so let me just copy into if we go to libraries and you will have this so let me just go into my free natives as you see it's different if we got into after effects you got different and that's the call so you can just select by the libraries It's the same thing almost like the first version came out which had a folders and it was a nice but in this uh, of course it's given this option and it's a nice and also the quickest step to install all of them at once if you have more than 100 of course so just select all of them just drag and drop create folders and drag and drop that was all and so then we can start you know creating a new um you know sequence or whatever project and then we can start grabbing this just drag and drop into the timeline and, you know so let me just zoom in a little bit I should then just go and see and you can start you know just customizing going to essential graphics edit and you can start um, customizing as I said okay guys so hope you guys like it and learn a little bit more on 2018 of course the latest version as I said they change everything completely as you see the way to insert or install or have in different folders so as I said hope you guys like it and learn a little bit and make sure to subscribe to my two YouTube channels uh, like us on Facebook and why not and Twitter of course and make sure as I said I'm sorry I couldn't upload any video those two last weeks because I was painting my apartment and also was fixing the closet and but since now I will be uploading every week uh, a tutorial of, of Terry Effects, Premiere and Photoshop so keep in tune and see you next time